Oh, well, thanks, man, for appreciating my decorating styles. Yeah, turned out pretty good. I know, it's two weeks away to the kickoff of the first Seahawks game. What? There's someone behind me? Yeah, bro. You're talking to a mouse. <sighs> Welcome to the morning routine. Happy Monday. Apparently, I talk to everything. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Monday. Welcome to the morning routine. Welcome back. This is going to be another outstanding week, of course. Lots of new things. Some of you are actually just joining us from a brand new thing that we just started today, which was virtual coffee in the AM. Yes, brought to you by all of us at BCDI and TCDI. That's right, something new we're doing every morning's 8.30s. We're doing a Zoom virtual coffee in the a.m. And you're wondering, how do I get involved? You gotta message us. Message us your email so that we can send you those invitations to that. It's a fun little time. All of it, it's kind of like a, you know, social hour at 6.30 in reverse. This time it's for those early birds. They like to get up early and enjoy the morning with a cup of joe and kick back, relax, chit chat about the day, the weekend, whatever over a cup of coffee. So that's something new that we're rolling out. That's Monday through Fridays, 8.30s, Zoom, invitation only. So like I said, put it down in the comments, your email and your interest, and we will reach out. All right. Now I said that that was a Zoom coffee get together. And so what are we focusing on this week? What's the assignment? What's the theme for this week? It is Zoom, and we've been talking to you guys a lot about that for a while, so it is on. Our trainings are on. Trainings of Zooms are happening five days a week. Just like in program hours, we are doing Zooms five days a week, multiple trainings a day, different staff running those. We are ramping this up 100% starting today. Now, a couple things to note to kick this off. Currently, most of our Zooms are for participants with VCDI and TCDI. Now that doesn't mean you're excluded from all the other activities we have because maybe you don't live in California. Maybe you don't live in the realm of VMRC. That's okay because everything we're doing is not just for participants. You can still participate in the live events, the social hours, many other things. There will be some Zooms that are for those of us that enjoy getting together, socializing, and being a part of the group kind of thing, not just the Facebook Lives or the Instagram Lives, but the Zoom stuff. We'll do some of those coming up shortly that are for non-participants. This is a very exciting time because we're really pushing the schedule, we're really pushing the Zooms, we're pushing everything that we're doing out into this virtual world because why? It's working, everybody's enjoying it, and it's kind of what we need to do right now. So hang on because we got a lot of stuff coming. Look out for, keep track of your emails, keep checking your emails, watch in there for your Zoom links. Stay connected, comment us if you're interested in getting more involved in what we're doing. And oh, by the way, those of you that voted last week for the song, we got a winner. So we got lots of stuff going on. I'll get to the song in a minute, but we got lots of stuff going on. So you don't wanna miss a thing because every time we have an event, something exciting is happening. Something cool is happening. We're having fun. It's a chance to socialize and learn a little bit and gain experience. So enough of all that for right now. But I did mention last week we had a couple of things. I challenged you to a couple different things. One was I played three songs and you guys were voting in the comments for which song you wanted to write some lyrics to. Then we'll put a whole song together. Why? Well, some of you may have forgot or, well, we haven't really seen them in this office, is everybody from the trailer, the pirate, Rocker Bob, Animal, Ram, uh, the unicorn guy, the horse guy. Where are they all at? Well, I'll tell you that they're all doing just fine, except for Rocker Bob and the pirate guy. The pirate, I don't know where he's at. 
I could really do without him because the poop deck is totally fun. We got that managed without the pirate telling me to do it. As for Rocker Bob, well, he's still pretty upset. So we gotta work on that song. And tomorrow, Music Tuesday, we'll get a little bit more into that. But for now, everybody that voted, thank you so much for doing that and participating. It was a lot of fun and man, we got a lot of votes. It was neck and neck. Song number one didn't do so well. We had a few votes for it, but songs two and three, man, there was a lot of votes there. So that got pretty exciting. Got down to the wire. Ultimately, song number three pulled it off with the most votes. So that's the one we're gonna be putting it to. So look for tomorrow. I will be putting out in the morning routine, just the song, just the music at the very end. It'll be just the music, not me talking over it, nothing like that, so that you can sit there and go on Facebook later in the day, get some quiet time, and listen to it over and over again, and start putting some pen to paper, get some lyrics going, right? The other exciting thing with that is that I know that Joe specifically, uh, well maybe Joe and Slow Joe been working together on uh, putting some additional musical elements to that. Now remember, we have some professional musicians on our staff and some budding musicians, maybe. Like I said, there might be a spot for a dude with a flute. And yes, Gary, I'm referring to you, the dude with the flute. So you better get to, uh, you know, practicing a little bit. I'm gonna make a spot for you. And I don't know, maybe there's a spot for the guy that plays the triangle and, you know, Gabrielle with a kazoo and who knows. Okay, so look for more of that all on Music Tuesday tomorrow. Very exciting. But for today, that's it for me. We're going to focus on Zoom all week because that, like we've said all along, we started preaching it back in April <laughs> and March that Zoom was gonna be the way, things like that. This whole virtual reality that we're living in now, that is the direction that we're going. So that's it for me. That's what we're gonna do this week. Let's check in with some of our good friends and see what they got for us today. Good morning, VCDI, TCDI, happy Monday. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, I wanted to start off the week with a positive new story to share with you guys to get everybody in a positive and productive mood. So let's go out there and have a great week, okay? Stranger dressed as Batman delivers food. Crime fighting to Chilean and detective city. abilities have inspired Batman generations of, of most popular locations. superheroes in the world. The DC Comics character known to fans as the Caped Crusader or the Dark Knight does not possess any superpower, but is Batman fans are all over the world. Some dedicated ones even participate in cosplay competitions to show their admiration and love for the character. Then there are fans who take the character so seriously that their antics make international headlines. Deep into a global pandemic, the Dark Knight has made one more appearance. A stranger disguised as Batman is often seen prowling the streets of Santiago, Chile, delivering food to the homeless. The man wearing a shiny bat suit, complete with a coronavirus mask, uh, he reportedly delivers dozens of plates of hot meals on a regular basis to homeless people throughout the capital of Chile. everybody it's Monday August the 24th and today it's National Waffle Day you know crispy crunchy on the outside and nice and yummy on the inside and you make so many different ways waffles are the best I made a bunch over the weekend and then I put them in a zippy bag and I have them for whenever so I just pull them out of the freezer see how it's all made up and I can just, let's like a let go of my ego. I just pop it right into the toaster or I can put it in the microwave and I've got fresh yummy waffles all the time and they're so much better than store-bought. So, get your waffle on today on National Waffle Day. Hey you guys, it is Monday the 24th, is it? 
Yeah, sure. We'll just call it the 24th. Now, it's Monday the 24th, you guys. I hope you guys are all having a good start to your day. Hope you guys all enjoy a little coffee. And, uh, you know, before we start this week out, let's go back in the past with Zach. So, on this day in 1891, Thomas Edison patents the motion picture camera. Pretty awesome. I'm talking to you on something that was first in the, uh, not necessarily the same thing, but it was first in the works uh, in 1891. They were thinking about it. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, another event, boxing title fight in 1908. Tommy Burns KOs Bill Squires in 13 rounds for the heavyweight boxing title. <sighs> Pretty crazy. I didn't know Tommy Burns or Bill Squires until this particular moment right now. Um, <laughs> 1912, the New York City ticker tape parade for Jim Thorpe and victorious U.S. Olympians. Jim Thorpe was a versatile athlete. The guy played professional sports. He was a Olympic you know, gold medalist. Jim Thorpe was, it was insane. And last but not least today, the Chicago Cubs win the earliest pennant ever. Season ended on September 2nd, but the Chicago Cubs had already clinched the pennant at this point. Um, that is awesome. That's awesome. If you watch baseball games, you'll see pennants, and they're up in the stadiums. Those are how many pennants a team clinches. And so in this era, in 1912, the Chicago, or 1918, the Chicago Clubs, Cubs win the earliest pennant ever. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. And then, uh, with that being said, guys, I just want you guys to have a great day today. Have a great Monday. Start this week off rocking. And uh, you guys all, all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, how you guys doing? A little word of wisdom today would be, if you think you can... Or if you think you can't, you're going to be right. Think about that. Tell me in the comments down below what you think about that comment. If you think you can or you think you can't, you're going to be right. What's up, broskies? Sea Dog here, man. Just chilling here. Just thinking about all the positive things going on in the world today. Because there are a lot of positive things that just make Sea Dog's vibes go awesome. Like this guy right here. This guy here wrote me a letter this week said, Bro, Tom Brady is Sea Dog's number one fan. He loves your positive vibes. So, Tom Brady, Sea Dog sends his love to you, bro. Not as much love as that Clayton, dude. But hey, it is love. Sea Dog to Tom Brady. So let's talk some football here. So football starts in three weeks, bro. You may have your favorite team. Your team may be good. Your team may be bad. But hey, it's football. That's a positive, broskies. We need to just chill and watch and enjoy our hot wings and our nachos and our, our broskies, brewskies. It's football time. So... Being that it's Positive Monday, I have to leave with a positivity theme. Well, I'm going to be nice and I'm going to give a positive compliment to Carl and his Seattle Seahawks broskies. And here's what it is. Here's what I got positive to say about you Seattle Seahawks. At least you're not the Cowboys. Peace out, broskies. You guys have a positive Monday. Very good, everybody. Very good. As always, this is a great start to the week. Thanks for joining in on the morning routine this morning. Look for some more coffee tomorrow, virtual coffee that is. And after this, what do we got? We got one o'clock, Facebook Live with uh, Clayton doing the Monday Positivity. We got the social hour at 6.30 and then we're on to Tuesday, Music Tuesday. We got a lot of updates there for you. Have a great rest of your Monday. We will see you at one o'clock for the morning routine. We will see you tomorrow. Take care.